All right, Shalom once again. It's another video. Shalom to the elect, which begins with 144,000. All praises and glories due to Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem Rakakwadash. So you see the title of this video on screen. It'll be called All the Lights Are On, But No One Is Home. <laughs> All the lights are on. But there's no one home. And the subtitle is The Vagabond Jews. Now, of course, Elder Pastor said that in his video, but uh, it was something that he said in this video, beside all the lights are on and no one's home. <clears throat> it's something that he said in this video. Uh, this video right here. Bear with me for a minute. I don't know why it does that. Uh. You gotta bring it back and then it plays. Never a dull moment with YouTube, I tell you. Um, so I'm gonna really, it's around uh, a little after the ninth minute he said it um, in relation to uh, this group here. And of course, Elder Pastor is responding to this video here, Yahweh Shai Day 2023. Uh, day 7 O M B Y A D D. Honestly, when I first look at 7, and somebody else said it, when I look at 7 O M B Y, the first word that jumps out at me is zombie. <laughs> <laughs> the word looks, I mean, on its first face, when you first glance at the word right here, it it uh, it reminds you of the word zombie. And that's this group right here, you know, led by the uh, the the pork eaten Hebrew Israelite. You know, he's uh, th this guy right here, this guy right here, led by him. See, same thing, zombie A O D. Oh, I thought it was ADD. Attention Deficit Disorder. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> it's a a a o d. And you got to laugh at these guys, man. You can't get mad at them. You got to laugh at them, man. And uh, Elder Pastor said that the guy might be a transplant, might be a, you know, either the CIA or whatever. Because they'll do that, you know. They'll set up these these uh these fringe Israelite groups to to try to make the ministry look bad hence the title um of my video the vagabond Jews because we have an example of that in the vagabond Jews they were not chosen in the spirit to do the ministry that the apostle Paul uh did and they took it upon themselves to do it and they got jacked up for it we're going to read about that but before I do let's let's go into this video here the, the video put up by Elder Pastor entitled, And by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. All right? So without further ado, let's, let's go. Uh, uh, Hebrew names today. And uh, no, like I said, not, not one of them have fringes on. They got uh, mm. t shirts, he got the skull and bones, got the Ezekiel 37. Yeah, that seems to be a thing with uh, certain Israelites wearing that skull and bones, which which is totally, it's Illuminati. Skull and bones, is that's the symbol of the skull and bones. It represents death. You know, the, the, the skull and bones, they're also known as the brotherhood of death. Now, this truth is supposed to represent what? Life, not death. Okay. <laughs> This truth is, is Yahweh Shai represents life, not death. You know, Yahweh Shai was, was crucified on a hill called Golgotha, which was called the place of the skulls. Okay? And Yahweh Shai had to sacrifice himself for us to receive this knowledge, this truth. But do we, should we, you know, should we have an image like that to, to, uh, to wear, such as the skull and bones? No. And and this guy, his uh, his opinion of that is, oh, uh, 
Ezekiel the 37 chapter where the, where the valley of the the dry bones yeah you were dry bone before you came into this knowledge this truth if you kept on reading it tells you that the dry bones that uh, sinew sinews came upon them and then flesh and then they they stood upon their feet as a matter of fact let's go to it so once you come into this knowledge this truth you're not a dry bone anymore so if that be the case, why the hell are you wearing a t-shirt with the skull and bones on it? Doesn't make sense. So yeah, like he said, uh, uh, you know, the, the head guy of that of that reprobate group, that's really a reprobate group. The head guy said, Yeah, uh don't you get you get on me because of the, the skull and bones. Because I was watching this video here, this video right here that he put up recently. Bear with me for a minute. Yeah, this this video right here that he put up recently called the rabbit hole. Now in this video, he he, he remarks on how we were getting on him about the skull and bones, and his justification was the book of Ezekiel, the thirty seventh chapter, says that we're of the valley of the dry bones, which he's correct on that. But once you come into this knowledge, this truth, you go from being a dry bone to, well, let, let's read it. Ezekiel 37, we'll start the first verse. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out into the spirit of the Lord, in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, which represents our people, just like the guy said, right? But let's see what happens when they uh, when they receive that breath, right? Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Bear with me for a minute. Uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven. And uh, nine. Well, let me start at seven, right? Ezekiel thirty-seven and seven. So I prophesied, and I was command as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. That's the nation of Israel coming together, beginning with the elect. Really the elect, because right now the Lord is only really dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. So we'll start with them. You know, each tribe, the elect of each tribe coming together, like it says here, bone to his bone, right? Bone is a, is a metaphor for, for our people, for the tribes, okay? Uh, reading on, it says, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. So they're no longer bones. There are no longer bones. The sinews, the sinews are the laws, statutes, and commandments that join us together. The laws, statutes, and commandments joins us together. As a matter of fact, uh, Levi, the, the, the term Levi in the in the Hebrew, lawyer, it's in the Hebrew, it's lawyer, which means join to me. Now, sinews, they join, that's the tissue that joins the muscle to the bones. It's called sinews. Okay? It's, it's what holds the bones together, right? Bone coming to that bone. And then you have the sinews. When the Heavenly Father created the body, the sinews help keep the bone together or keep the bones in the body together along with the, the muscle, the muscle tissue. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. Now the flesh is our identity, our covering. Just like the flesh is a covering for the body, uh, our identity as, as Hebrew Israelites is, is our flesh. That, that's our covering. And the, and the sinews are the laws, statutes, and commandments that join us to the Heavenly Father, like the, like the term Levi, which means join to me. So that would be your sinews. But the point I'm making is they're no, they're no longer bones. So why would you wear a t-shirt with a skull and bones on it? You're no longer a bone, or you're no longer bones. You have the knowledge, you have the understanding now. You were once bones, he was right on that when he said that, oh, I'm, I'm wearing the t-shirt because we were the valley of the dry bones. Yeah, you were right on that. But once you come into this knowledge, this truth, if you apply it, you're no longer a bone. 
You, you have sinews on you. You have flesh on you, like I'm reading here. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews in the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above. That's our identity. You have, you have skin covering those bones. All right? You have skin covering because you got your identity. You know you're a Hebrew Israelite. You're covering, right? But there was no breath in them. What is the breath? The, the deep understanding of the, of the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, which is only given right now to the elect. You see? Then it says, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Now, the only ones that's going to live right now is the elect. Romans 11 and 7, the, the elect have uh, obtained it, and the rest were what? The rest of the Israelites were what? They were blinded, spiritually blinded, that is. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. That's the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel, a spiritual army. Okay? They finally got the breath. So there, so there are no longer bones. So why why was this guy why was this guy here why was this guy here trying to justify this guy here why was he who's the leader of that 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 reprobate group here why was he trying to justify him or his men when uh, skull and bones and then he has Ezekiel the thirty seventh chapter on it when you when you come into this knowledge of truth you're no longer a bone. Okay, you have the wisdom, you have the knowledge, you have flesh upon you, you have sinews. Your body, your body of Yahweh Shai, not a bone. Okay, the bone has been covered by its identity. You have, you know, you got the truth. But anyway, it is what it is. Let's move on. They don't know what's going on. And like I said, look into their eyes. They have that dismal... You know, they call it in the military a thousand, thousand yard, the thousand yard stare. Like, yeah, that's true. They, they look like they're lost. Okay, they just, they look like props, you know, like mannequins. You know, like when you go into a store and you, and you see the mannequin man or the mannequin woman. I mean, it, 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 all the lights are on, but no one's home. You just look at the mannequin. You can see there ain't no spirit in the mannequin, man. That's what these guys look like over here. They look like mannequins, like you that you'd see in a department store. The, the lights, the lights are the lights are on, but nobody's, you know, home. Yeah, like a mannequin. I got another precept I want to. That's a, that's an interesting word, mannequin. Hope I can spell it. What is a mannequin? What is Man ah, that was kind of close. Mannequin. Mannequin. Look at that. A dummy. A dummy used to display clothes in a in a store window. A mannequin. What do you call a human mannequin? Okay. What does it mean when someone is a mannequin? A life-size model of a person which is used to display clothes. Well, that's well, hold up. That's what they. That's what they look like. Over here, they're used to. They're used to display clothes, and I, I guarantee you. This guy, the pork eater himself, he, he's selling these clothes. He just got these guys there to, to model their merchandise. You know, somebody will come on, on their channel and say, hey, man, I like that Skull and Bones t-shirt, man. Where can I get one of those? Hey, I like that uh, you, uh, you got uh, them shirts, you know, certain Israelite, them shirts with the Hebrew on it, the Paleo Hebrew, man. Where can I get that? So he got his mannequins modeling that shit. And he was going off on that because El Apostol goes into it. 
So, so life-size dummies, man. Life-size dummies, mannequins. Mannequ they should call themselves mannequins of Israel. There you go. See? They got the, the one with the Hebrew on it. And, and they went off on that. Let's listen some more. I got another precept I want to bring out. So the, so the new thing is guys watch videos on YouTube, YouTube, you know, uh, um, Formula One Wests, and instead of joining a kid camp, they make up their own camp. They'll now that's what he said. Now that's what he said, which, which uh, drove me to do this video and give it this title. All the lights are on, but no one's home. The, va the vagabond Jews. Let's go back and listen to what El Pastor just said there. We can forget about these mannequins for now. Guys watch videos on YouTube, YouTube, you know, uh, um, Formula One West. Let's bring it back again. Right about there. You know, home. I got another precept I want to bring out. So the, so the new thing is guys watch videos on YouTube, YouTube, you know, uh, um, Formula One West's. And instead of joining a kid camp, they make up their own camp. They'll study all the questions, the, the videos, or ask certain questions. They make up their own camp. Kind of like the vagabond Jews. Let's listen some more. They'll get their precepts together. And they say, why not? Why do I have to join one of them? Why do I have to join GMS, IUIC, ISUPK, Sakari? Or, and I, Sakari stem from us, but... The leadership of Sakari started with us. So they know the scriptures. When you watch the Sakari, they go off on certain things, things that we that they teach that we don't teach. But the premise is the yeah, same. Like posing with guns, you homo sapiens and your guns. What else they do? Oh, saying you can have sex on the Sabbath. You know? Because truth be told, the, the leader of Sakari, he, he was a problem child. You know, he kept getting kicked out of camps because he, he he refused to take he refused to take uh, to uh, take um, uh, discipline. He refused to be disciplined. But you know, that's another video for another time. They teach about the twelve tribes of Israel. Um, they teach Yahweh Shai, um, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, Esau. Part of the part of being in the sting of ours is learning how to take discipline. You know, if you go off and you show you showed that you go off, you're supposed to accept it. No matter what, you're supposed to accept it. Uh, yes, I went off. Please forgive me. I went off. Now, damn sure, try to make sure I don't go off again. Another thing too, you really can't be in your feelings. You can't be emotional being in this thing of ours. Okay, and I've done plenty of videos on character building in in this. Things that I've learned throughout the years of being in this ministry. Okay? Uh, is a white man, is a so called white man descendants, he's the white man descendant from Esau. Um, so they know the, the, um, the protocol, let's say. Esau are so called white people, and the 12 tribes of Israel, Gad, Ju Reuben, Judah, Ephraim, and so forth. So that's. Yeah. They know just enough to appear as if they're uh, ministers of light. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Marvel not. Isn't that what the scriptures say? Marvel not. Let's get it. They know just enough. You hear what Elder Pastor is saying. They know just enough to make it look good. Like they're really... Like they're really... Uh, men of the Lord, which they're not. I don't know why it didn't come up. But let it be bugging sometimes. Ministers. It might not come up. I have a feeling it's not going to come up. Yep, I, had that too. I knew it. Uh, this is what you do. When you can't get the blue letter to behave, you just go to Google.
That's it. Yep, Second Corinthians 11 chapter. Second Corinthians the 11th chapter. Uh, begin at the 14th verse. Oh, let me start at the uh, 13th verse. Second Corinthians 11 and 13. For such are false apostles. And the word apostle just means sent away. Deceitful workers. That's that. That's the the the, the, the pork juice prophet. That's him and the guys that follow him. That's him, man. De a, de a deceitful worker. Transforming themselves into the apostles of Yahweh Shai. He even says the name. He says the name of the Father and the Son. He dedicates a day, a day, mind you, a pagan holiday. He dedicates that to Yahweh Shai as if Yahweh Shai would have anything to do with that. Right? So he's transforming himself into an apostle of, of uh, Yahweh Shai. And he's the kind of guy, Yahweh is going to say, depart from me, I never knew you, you that work iniquity. You know, he's a false, he's a false apostle, he's a deceitful worker. Now let's keep reading, it says, and no marvel for Satan himself, that guys that are set up, you know, he always got brothers saying, oh, this guy's a, he's a transplant, he's an agent. Satan sets up agents too, in, the, in this thing of ours. Who you think set up uh, Judas Iscariot? The heavenly father, Yahweh, through Satan, man. Because the, the scriptures tell us right there, when Yahweh Shai looked at Judas Iscariot and said, look, that you got to do, you go and do it now. When they were at the table, having that supper. And the scripture said, at that very moment, Satan entered into Judas Iscariot. And he went and did what he had to do, which was betray Yahweh Shai. So that tells me that Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, sets up transplants too. Okay, and that's why the scripture speaks about us giving diligence to make our calling and election sure. And, and going through the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. So if you're suffering righteously for Yahweh Shai's sake, then that's a good sign. You got to be one of the elect, man. That's a very good sign. Okay. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11 to 14. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So we're not supposed to marvel at that. You're going to have a lot of, and, uh, and listen to me when I tell you, there's more, there's more fake Israelites in this thing of ours than there are real ones. Facts. I'll say it again. There are more fake Israelites in this thing of ours. I don't care what group, you know, among the many Israelite groups out there, and there's many, there's more fake Israelites, individuals that are not part of this thing of ours. They're not set up in the spirit to do what we do. They're more fake ones than they are real ones. And it's our job to discern between the real and the fake. It tells you that in, uh, matter of fact, let's go to that real quick. Malachi, when the Lord said he's going to make up his jewels. His jewels is another title for the elect. I think it's Malachi, the third chapter. So it's your job to discern between the two. Malachi 3.16, the subheading says the the book of remembrance. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And the book of remembrance, that's the Bible, was written before him for them that feared the Lord. That's the elect of the nation of Israel. And that thought upon his name. Yeah, it begins with his name. His, his name, his son's name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels. And let's not forget the Lord chose his elect even before the earth was created. So, the, so those spirits have always been, they've always belonged to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the, the, they were the ones, they're the ones that's going to be purified the, um, the first, the first spirits to be purified, as in the elect. Okay, purified like Yahweh Shai was purified. Yahweh Shai was the head of the elect, by the way. He was the elect of the elect of the elect. <laughs> How about that? Okay. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spare of his own son that serveth him. Spare them from what? The, the coming destruction. That's one of the benefits of being a, a member of the hopeful elect. Now here it is. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. So it's your job out there to discern between who is really righteous in this thing of ours, the true worshipers, like Yahweh Shai said, and who are not. That's your job out there. 
Okay, and we make it easy for you by pointing out these uh, shortcomings of these other these other groups. Okay, they have the appearance of being like we're gonna go back to Second Corinthians. The Apostle Paul talked about him. You had him back during the time of the Apostle Paul. Those fake apostles, fake teachers, fake prophets, and you got them now, man. And it's your job to spot them, and it's and it's easy to spot them, man. If if you if you walk, what did the scripture say? This I say, walk in the spirit. So if you're walking in the spirit, it's easy to spot them dudes. Malachi 3 and 18. Then shall he return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the most high and him that serveth him not. Let's re re read that in the NLT. Then you will again see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between those who serve the heavenly father and those who do not. There you go. So that's your job out there. And we make it easy for you. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians 11 and 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Yahweh Shai. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers, the ones that serve him, also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness whose end shall be according to their works. You see? And that's what that's what you got now. And that, that group is a perfect example of that, the group that we're spotlighting in this video. 2 Corinthians eleven thirteen. These people, and you got the leader trying to justify with that video that he did, he's trying to justify eating pork. What are you going to do for a guy like that? He's a false apostle. He's a deceitful worker. He's trying to transform himself into an apostle of Yahweh Shai. He even mentions the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but he's none of his. So we're not supposed to marvel at that. That's not supposed to surprise you. Wow, I'm surprised that that. That's not supposed to surprise you. The apostle Paul here is saying, don't be, don't marvel at that. Don't be surprised by that. Let's read it in the NLT, Second Corinthians eleven thirteen. These people are false apostles. They are deceitful workers who disguise themselves as apostles of Yahweh Shai. But I am not surprised. So the Apostle Paul wasn't surprised, and neither should we be. Even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Look at that. Yeah, because, oh, wait a minute. Um, Satan tried to tempt Yahweh Shai. He was even quoting scriptures. And Yahweh Shai checked him, man. Yahweh Shai, he quoted the scripture, the angel shall bear thee up. Satan was quoting scripture, man. <laughs> The angels shall bear thee up. And then what did Yahweh Shai said? Yahweh Shai said, yeah, it's also written, you shall not tempt the Lord thy power. So, it's, so, so Yahweh Shai checked Satan on that. And we can learn from that. So Satan knows the scriptures. But I'm not surprised even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Because who really controls Satan at the end of the day? The Heavenly Father. Okay? The same Heavenly Father that gave us these scriptures. He controls Satan. He created Satan for his own purpose. All right, we understand that. The 15th verse. So it is no wonder that his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness in the end, because it all comes down to the end, right? In the end, they will get the punishment their wicked deeds deserve. So these, these dudes ain't going nowhere. Where, where, where they at? Yeah. These guys, these uh, deceitful workers over here, they're not, they're not going anywhere. Where are they going? Hold up. Bring this back. We, yeah, they where, teach that we don't, where are they going? They ain't going nowhere. Let's listen. Teach, but the premise is the same. They teach about the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, Let's bring that back. Yes, yeah, the these, lights these are dudes, the these, light. These dudes right here, where are they going to go? On, but nobody's, you know, home. I got another precept I want to bring out. So the so the new thing is guys watch videos on YouTube, YouTube you know uh, um former one Wes's and instead of joining a kid camp, they make up their own camp. They'll study all the question the, the videos, they'll ask certain questions, they'll get their precepts together and they say, Why not why do I have to join one of them? 
Why do I have to join GMS, IUIC, ISGPK, Sakari, or and I, Sakari stemmed from us, but the leadership of Sakari started with us. So they know the scriptures. When you watch the Sakari, they go off on certain things, things that we that they teach that we don't teach, but the premise is the same. They teach about the twelve tribes of Israel. Um, they teach Yahweh Shai, um, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Esau is a white man, is a so-called white man descendants. He's the white man descended from Esau. Um, so they know the the um, the protocol. Let's say. He's yeah, they know just enough to appear as what ministers of righteousness, like the apostle Paul said. But the end, whose whose deeds shall be rewarded in the end. The the, the wicked deeds shall be re rewarded in the end. Okay, because the only ones that's making it is the elect, the true worshippers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh not the false worshippers, the true worshippers. So our so-called white people and the twelve tribes of Israel, Gad, Ju Reuben, Judah, Ephraim, and so forth. So that's what they do. Mm -hmm. That's what they do, and and they remind me of the vagabond Jews. Let's go to that so I can wrap this video up. The vagabond Jews did the same thing. Okay, they had the appearance of being righteous, but they were not. That's why that, well, we we're about to read it. That's why they got what they deserved. Okay. And, and one of the reasons why they did what they did is because they were jealous. They were jealous of Apostle Paul and the men that the Heavenly Father chose to work with the Apostle Paul in the ministry these vagabond Jews. And the word vagabond just means a traveler. That's a, there's nothing negative or insulting about the word. You're a vagabond. Nah, vagabond just means a traveler, a person that travels the world. Like you got on YouTube, you got these guys that travel the world. Your passport bros would be vagabonds. It just means traveler. People don't know the meaning of words, man. Okay. No, this this is not correct. Vagabond. A person who wanders from place to place without a home or a job. That's that that's not correct. Having no settled home, a vagabond. Yeah, a wanderer, a wayfarer. It just means traveler, man. Traveling, see? Similar. Traveling. Okay. Is vagabond a negative term? Let's see what that says. A vagabond is a wanderer, someone who travels aimlessly from place to place. Blah, blah, blah. The term vagabond carries the connotation of a carefree and careless person. Yeah, it carries the connotation. But it's not a negative word. Okay. But in this case, these guys were negative, the vagabond Jews. Then certain... Acts 19.13, and certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, so they, they, you have people that claim to cast out spirits out of people, demonic spirits, like the movie The Exorcist, if you've ever seen that movie. Uh, the certain of, the cert, then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took it, took upon themselves, took upon them to call over them which had evil spirits and really when you teach this knowledge is truth that's really what you're doing you're casting out evil spirits all right to call over them which had evil spirits the name of the lord yahweh saying we adjure you by yahweh whom paul preacheth let's read that in the nlt a group of jews was traveling from town to town hence the title vagabond casting out evil spirits that's what they probably did that not probably they did that to make a living okay so when they saw the power that the apostle paul and the men that were with him had they were envious they desired that power they said look we can make a lot of money we if we were able to do what the apostle paul and the men that are with him if we we're able to do what they do man we, we, we take our game higher man we'll up our game so so they do they were envious of apostle paul and the men that were with him I mean, you gotta, you just gotta extrapolate. You know, you know how niggas think. 
A group of Jews was traveling from town to town, casting out evil spirits. They tried to use the name, they tried to use the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai in their in the incantation, saying, yeah, like that, the, the, the pork juice prophet. All right. He, he, when he had that dinner for the, the Yahweh Shai's day, he had that pork dinner. He was, he was uh, using the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai as an incantation. You know, he's saying all oh, praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai as he had pork on his table. And then in the video, you're trying to justify eating it. When it tells you in Isaiah 65, eating abominable things like swine's flesh. But he was using the name of the Father and the Son as an incantation, just like these vagabond Jews was using the name of the Father and the Son as an incantation. They tried, let's read, they tried to use the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai in their incantation, saying, I command you in the name of Yahweh Shai, whom Paul preaches, to come out. Right? And there were seven sons of one Seva or Skiva, I believe it's pronounced Skiva, a Jew, and chief of the priests, which did so. So their father had a higher position among the uh, among the um, among the Jews. He had a high position. His position was chief of the priests. I guess that would, that would make him a, like a high priest, right? The this, this Skiva. So let's read on. It says. Matter of fact, let's read that in the NLT. Seven sons of Sceva, a leading priest, were, were doing this. And the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh Shai, I know. And Paul, I know. But who are you? Or who are ye? Who the hell are you? I don't know you. The evil, see, that shows you the spirits, they know who we are, man. That's why you can't fake this thing about us. We're known in the spirit world, man. What did the Lord tell uh, Jeremiah? Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. See? So we're chosen in the spirit world be before we come in the physical world. So these guys, they weren't chosen to do the ministry that the Apostle Paul and the men that were with him were doing. They weren't chosen for that purpose. That's why the demon inside of that guy f their asses up, as we're about to read. And the evil spirit answered and said, Yeah, I wish I know, and Paul I know, but who the hell are you? Let's read that in the NLT. That's what it should say. Who the hell are you? But one time when they tried it, the evil spirit replied, I know Yahweh Shai and I know Paul, but who are you? That's the question posed to these guys here. All right. Who are you? Who are you? Where do you come from? Um, from Inside Joe. 12 tribe. Hold on, let's bring them on the screen. Yeah. He got... These guys, these cats here. Who are you? Right? Like the song by the group, The Who. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Tell me, who the F are you? <laughs> you, know, you know me and them songs. You had a group called The Who from England. They put out a song called Who Are You? Uh, and the evil spirit answered and said, Yahweh I know and Paul I know, but who are you? Who are you? And the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them and overcame them and prevailed against them. Whoop they ass. He beat the black off of them. <laughs> so that they fled out of that house naked and wounded. And that had to be a hell of a sight, a humorous sight at that. Okay, they were getting their ass whooped. Okay, by that evil spirit. Because they, they, were, they were not chosen to do what they took upon themselves to do. And it's the same thing. If these guys don't watch out, that's that might be their fate. Okay, you 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 you're treading in you you are treading in waters that don't belong to you, man. And you're being led by some maniac, some pork eating maniac. Let's read the 16 verse in the NLT. Then the man with the evil spirit leaped on them, overpowered them, and attacked them with such violence that they fled from the house naked and battered. Wow. And this was known to all the Jews and Greeks also dwelling at Ephesus. 
So this became, that episode became famous, man. And fear fell on them all, and the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai was magnified. So that's, that's why it happened. So that the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai could be magnified. So, hey, that very scenario that happened could happen with these guys. And, and not just them, guys that are perpetrating a fraud, man. That are not chosen in the Holy Spirit to do the work that we do. Okay? I know for a fact, I didn't choose to do the work that I'm doing. I, I, that was the furthest thing from my mind. All right? I, I know definitely that I was chosen to do the work that I'm doing. No doubt about that in my mind. And through the years, I, I'm even more convinced that this is my destiny, what I'm doing. Okay, but you got some guys, they, you know, they, they look at this thing and they see it as a, as a thing to get fame or get money or both, get women. And they're not coming in the, they're not coming in the right way. They're not coming in the right way. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you were edified. If you was, as usual, drop a line in the comment section as we move to the next one.